In ActiveHDL 9.2, users can now customize the design structure, unlike in previous versions, where by default, all source files are saved in the source folder. This user-defined design management gives users flexibility as well as multiple benefits, such as the ability to separate HDL files from other file types. To customize the design structure, open the Preferences window from the Tools menu. Under Environment Tools, select Design Structure. Here, you can view all of the available file types. By default, the files are saved in the source folder. To customize the folder or path, double-click and change it accordingly. For example, Block Diagram can be changed to BDE, State Diagram to FSM, and so on. If you wish to save the file to a certain path, specify the full path instead of the folder name. Once you have specified your preferences, be sure to check the Save Generated Files to User Defined folder. This option will save your source files in the specified location rather than the default compile folder. When you are finished, click Apply and OK. Source files that are affected by this new design structure are new source files created either from scratch or by using the new source file wizard. As you can see, the newly created VHDL source file is saved within the VHDL folder of the design. Files that are added to a design as a local copy or imported third-party projects also follow the new structure. You can observe the customized structure of your design within Windows Explorer. For example, VHDL sources within the VHDL folder and block diagrams within the BDE folder. The preferences for the customized design structure are saved in a configuration file located in the ALDEC ActiveHDL installation directory within the DAT subfolder. This file can be edited and copied to a local directory, shared between team members, or placed within a network server. Sharing the file will allow multiple users to use the same design structure. This especially helps keep team projects organized and uniform. Users utilizing the shared file will need to set their ActiveHDL team home variable to the path of the configuration file. Type set in the console command line. Observe, by default, the variable is not set. To set the variable, type set, ActiveHDL team home, and provide the path to the file. To verify that the path has been set, type echo active HDL team home. Please note, when users set the variable to a defined path, the ability to make changes within the preferences window is disabled. Any changes will need to be made directly in the file. To convert designs from 9.1 and earlier to the new structure, the Convert Structure switch will need to be used with the Design or Workspace command. Please note that the conversion does not work for designs containing links. Thank you for watching this presentation.